Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Banking System. So I'm going to start by entering a name for this very guy. Let's say his name is Paul Parker. There. And uh, it's actually operating current account. So you can select any one of those. Okay, let's say he's on current account. And he's making a withdrawal of. Yeah. That's that's a little bit too much and let's say it deposited about yeah why not um does he have an overdraft yes he does we can always add that to the system okay let's check out this guy let's say his name is Dallas Dallas more right there so Dallas Mall has a current account as well and today is withdrawing a couple of thousands and um, how much did it deposit maybe 203 pounds and does it have a overdraft yes it does let's check out Sally Sally Queen She operated current account as well. Withdraw. She's only withdraw 50, uh, 55 pounds, very stingy. And she deposited a couple of thousands in there. Does she have a, an overdraft? No. Right. We can always go to the second form display and check out the following information. That's for Paul Parker. Okay. And the next one is Dallas and the stingy Sally. Okay. One other thing I'd like you guys to notice is those with overdraft you can see right there. There's no overdraft for Sally. So what I would do right now is to take you guys straight into Visual Basic Development Environment and you'll see I've put this together. In fact this tutorial this is one of the first tutorial of the banking system that I'll be developing. It's going to be a little bit, uh, a lot of more tutorial for banking system. So let's go into Visual Basic Development Environment now. Okay, let's start a new project now. So let's click on new project right there. So we'll select Windows Forms application. I'm just going to call this uh, bank. Okay, bank withdrawal. Click on OK. So that's fine. Yeah, that's my form right there. So the next thing I will do is uh, let's set the size of this form as follows. So the size of the form is 727 by 602. And the back color, let's change that to black. There. So the next thing is to go to project and add a new form, really. So that will be for my form 2. And there, uh, so exactly the same size, and the back color in this case will also be black right there. Okay, go to form one, double click on form one, and declare the following variable. I will declare as follows dim index as integer. I will also declare the same type of variable on form two right there. There. If you're wondering why have I declared those variable or that very variable, so the whole idea is just to keep track of where to store the array of the next uh, account or the next customer. That's why I declared those variable or that very variable. So the next thing I would do now is uh, let's add a module to it. So add new and just select module there so i have my module in place so what i intend to do now is let's declare a public let's go for public account number that's account or number of accounts okay let's make that integer there and now I do need a structure there, structure. It's like my class. Okay, the structure will be customer type. And let's declare the following dim account account name really. 
as the customer name as spring. Okay, now declare another variable. So this will be account type, really. Account type as let's make that spring as well and call that withdraw withdraw as integer and dep deposit as as integer as well okay now I also need one let's get a boolean in place overdraft so that will be true or false so make that boolean there okay so that's my class or type in place then uh, let's declare a public a public bank details in the bank so let me store approximately so in this area I'll store 20 20 customers in there and that will be customer type okay so now the next thing I'll do is to since the model is ready the next thing I'll do now is uh, let's come to the form from one okay in here I will then add as follows let's get a label I'm gonna need a couple of labels in here so although you guys cannot see that so let's change the font size the font type to white okay so I now change the size of that to approximately maybe 24 something like that there I would also need a group box it's a group box there so what I'll do is just speed this up and get back to you guys alright this is how my form is looking right now let me show you the second one the second form that's how the second form is looking as well so we'll go back to form one and right here form one i have four buttons i have an exit there so in the exit let's just enter application application that exits right in there all right that's taken care of and here the cancel we need the names of all of these so if we have the names we can always take care of that so that's one so double click on that dot text equals clear and the other one is uh, txt deposit dot text equals clear followed by txt withdraw dot text equals clear I think I have a checkbox in there checkbox dot checked make that false there okay I also have a combo box my combo box that there it is dot items dot clear so that's the clear button is taken care of so let's take care of display in the case of display all we just need to do is for the display to call form 2 form 2 dot show that's it, it's done that's taken care of let's get rid of this so that's taken care of now we come to the addition in the case of the addition we need to store the customer's details into an array so double click on the addition and enters as follows that is the bank details and index here it is equals dot account name if you're wondering where the account name come from if you look at the, take a look at the model that's it right there okay so account name equals whatever is inside the text box okay dot text i'm actually referring to this text box right there each of them has their own names okay now the next one is 
bank in a uh, bank index dot account type in this case equals that will be the combo box because I'll be selecting my type of account in the combo box so let me show you guys the combo box here I have my combo box here if you take a look at the item here that's the item I've entered the data I want inside my combo box there they are okay you can add anything you want into it that's it okay so let's cancel that that's it right there we can okay so let's go back to the add button there and what I'll do is just speed that up anyway okay this is how my add button is looking right now and that is the add button right there so all of these are taken care of now the next thing is to go to form 2 okay on form 2 the first thing I like to do is to create a public function so let's call that that's my public function there then on form load so just double click there form load right there okay and form load I'll like as follows so I'll start by declaring an index integer that will be a local variable for this very form okay now my button previous in this case dot enable I make that force if you're wondering where's button previous there it is previous next and so on and here I have let's complete uh, this form load first then uh, form then we get uh, use an if statement if number right there number of accounts okay the number of accounts if you can still remember that that's it right here okay let's go back in there if number of accounts equals zero then next button in this case will be force dot enable equals force okay else if number of account if it's equals to one then next button itself dot enable equals force and we have to then call account details right there account details let's call that equals zero there else if next button dot enable equals true and call account details as well there equals call account details All right and just end your if statement that's it right there end okay the next thing now is let's use a for loop for index equals zero to number of account okay where is it there all right then we minus one there then combo box dot dot items sorry that should be items dot items dot add whatever is inside the array here yeah, close that dot account name there is a dot account so just close the bracket there and that's that okay the next thing let's double click on this next button and just enter index equals index as plus one really plus one and let's call accounts call account details again account details equals indels okay enter that in the parentheses and just btn previous dot enable equals make that true there 
now let's repeat the same thing maybe I should just copy this instead of typing for previous right there double click on previous paste that in there and change this to minus that's previous taken care of now the next thing is uh, double click on the combo box and just enter as follows dim record number as integer and just say uh, record number itself equals combo combo account dot selected items just selected index here and let's call our account details again account details dot record number and that is all the only thing that is just left now is to take care of this let's take care of that's the council lbl name dot text equals there and let's copy that lbl account type get rid of that lbl withdraw get rid of that lbl deposit there chk dot check equals false all right so one more thing exit so in the case of exit in this case maybe we just say me dot close instead of application dot close we close this form then we can always exit from the other system so if we look at form one let's see form one and that is if we come here double click on form one that is where we officially exit the system application dot exit okay um i think there's something missing here so that would be account number itself account number right here yeah copy that let's come back in here let's paste that in there equals account number plus one yeah that's cool so if i run the program now so, so let's see what let's enter paul in here and Paul is running a current account as well is we made some withdrawal and he is actually deposited some huge amount in there so you click on that add and let's see maybe look has some money it's running a current account as well and it's got that in there maybe one more let's go for Peter current account made some withdrawal and deposited that and click on add let's give him some overdraft there if we go to display let's come here display okay you can see Paul current account Luke and Peter okay that's how the banking system works so if I click on exit we can always exit the second form which is form 2 or we can display it again that's form 2 again okay exit so to exit the system entirely all you just do is exit system and that's how you develop your own banking system i'll be back with more banking system tutorial the next one will be loan system thank you